Mechatronics is a mixture of mechanical, electrical, fluid power, and robotics all combined into one class. What we try to do in the mechatronics program is, is create a diverse uh, type of technician that can handle all different aspects of all those industries or fields. I looked up mechatronics and robotics and the robots just seemed cool. I wanted to learn about them. It seemed like an uh, area of industry that was growing and it's just been fun so far. It makes the student more diverse. They're, they're not just concentrated into one area. They can go in a lot of different directions if they come to the mechatronics program. Mechatronics. I've gained all the basic knowledge needed for robotics, electrical, mechanical, fluid power. I've learned about um, fl fluid power systems such as pneumatics and we work on the electrical components with the pneumatic trainers getting the cylinder extend and hit a switch and then and make it go back. We just try to really focus in and concentrate on their questions or their concerns or their what it is that they're trying to understand and we just try to help them without giving them the answers of course. You could tell them something in a book but unless they can actually feel it, touch it and do it it's sort of hard sometimes for, for a student to pick up on it. So yes, we, we try to give them as much hands-on as we possibly can. Definitely a lot more hands-on than there is book work, but we do the book work because it would it, be really hard to just do hands-on if we didn't have the concepts. But we're in the lab a lot more than we're in the class. You learn two ways, by taking notes and physically putting it together. It's a really friendly environment. Like we all, Everyone gets along, we're all pretty good friends, and it's, it's like a family environment. I'm on the first robotics team right now and you get all these different ideas and you get to put it together and make it happen. This year's task was we had to create a robot to shoot a basketball into a hoop or balance on a ramp. I've worked at Prism Plastics, uh, I've worked maintenance there, um, worked on uh, presses that uh, made car parts. Where I'm working now, Brown Aerospace basically builds high-tech uh, drills for, uh, to drill into airplanes. About halfway through the year, um, Mr. Timmerman came to me and asked if I wanted to work at Attica Hydraulics because they had some openings. And every day I'd go there and until 3 o'clock I'd work and once school ended, they offered me a summer job. I go to Attica Hydraulics three days a week instead of coming to tech. I have taken apart DCVs and they uh, work a lot with fluid power. It's the uh, acknowledgement of knowing certain topics, certain uh, theories, certain principles, uh, certain tools about the industry that just bringing someone in without that experience, they may or may not know that. But when I bring in uh, an employee that was from St. Clair Tech, I know that they have a certain skill set that we need here. I was able to apply a lot of what I learned at Tech just based on the experience, on-hand experience that I was given. When I came here, it was almost like a, a lateral movement um, because so many of the things were very similar, if not the exact same. It prepared me for what I was gonna encounter. Um, I got a lot of hands-on experience with certain different types of tools. Um, some of the machines that they had at the Tech Center are very similar to what we had here. So it's just a, a real good, real world preparation. The school that I'm going to next year, MIAT, um, I went to an open house there and I was able to um, notice everything that was in there and I already knew how it functioned because I come here. Mechatronics touches uh, many industries, okay? Uh, anywhere from uh, building a car to um, making goldfish that you eat, you know, in the little cartons to aspirin. So you're, you're looking at the car industry, the pharmaceutical industry, the food industry, uh, packaging industry, uh, any, if you, if you make CDs, if you create a golf ball, if you make a hockey skate, if you uh, make a golf club or, a, or even a musical instrument. Now that's mechatronics.
definitely suggest that people go to the tech center. Um, the, the employees were all very knowledgeable and all very helpful and willing to help students learn. I think it's a great workforce preparation tool that young individuals can use to prepare themselves for the future. Tech got me both of my jobs that I've had so far. Not only did tech help me with just knowledge, you know, learning controls, but uh, just employability skills that they teach. Um, first impressions, how they're important they are, and actually how to make a good one. I want to be an engineer after college. I thought Megatronics would really help me, and it actually is helping me. Tech has helped me get to where I am right now because it's given me multiple opportunities to interview at jobs. Um, in a couple weeks I'll be interviewing at a robotics company and I've already had jobs at hydraulics places. Job-wise, it's always going to be available. I mean, we, we can't run out of this because everything's either going to move to something electrical or mechanical and this, the skills and the know-how at home are great to have. Get ready to work. <laughs> uh, it's really, the environment is about work. This is your job now and you don't work hard. You you get deducted some money, you know, except, you know, money's a grade. I think that others should choose this class because unlike other classes, this one combines a lot of careers into one. In other classes, you can study maybe one career, and this one you have so many opportunities. My advice to any students that would like to get into this field is if you are interested in anything mechanical or and electrical and you like robots, go for it because it's Great. It's so much fun to be in this program. We try to convey that to our students. We try to give them the tools and the resources so that they could become good, employable, skilled um, people in, in the industry. I would tell them to go for it with all their heart because it's a really interesting field to go into and if they love it as much as I do, then they'll, they'll love the choice that they made. When I started there, I had no direction. When I left, I was going to college. When I got out of college, I had a full-time job that w was initially set up by uh, St. Clair Tech. And I've done nothing but excel, and it all stemmed from uh, tech. I would not have gone down this path if it was not for tech.